Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about Watson and Crick model of DNA. This is very important observations and conclusions they gave after the study. So let us begin to understand the Watson and Crick model of DNA. The first point in this is DNA consists of two polynucleotide chain. This is two polynucleotide chain here I have drawn here. This is one nucleotide chain and this is the other. So they are arranged spirally like this and the base nitrogen bases are in the center like this. Here this is the structure of this DNA molecule. This is a pentose sugar and a phosphate and nitrogen base. This one entire molecule is called as one nucleotide. So this is one nucleotide and this will be uh, uh, consist of two chains. So this is one chain and this is the other chain of nucleotides. Second point is this chains form a double helix like a spiral staircase. Here I have shown you this is forming a double helix like a spiral staircase. The third point is the sugar phosphate unit forms backbone and nitrogen base forms the center. Here this is the backbone means they are they form the uh, main structure and in the center these are the nitrogen bases then fourth both the strains are joined together by weak hydrogen bonds these are the hydrogen bonds between them between adenine and thymine there are two hydrogen bonds and between cytosine and guanine there are three hydrogen bonds which are a weak hydrogen bonds then fifth, the two strands are anti-parallel that is one run in 3-5' direction and the other runs in 5' to 3' direction. Here you can see this 5' end is open and 3' end is open in this nucleotide and it is running from 5' to 3'. But here it is 3' open end, here 5' open end so it is running from 3' to 5'. So both the strands are running anti-parallel. They are parallel but their direction is opposite of each other. Then next, the width of the DNA is 20 m strong and one complete turns uh, it takes place after 34 m strong. Means that this is the width of the DNA is 20 m strong and one complete turn from this turn to this turn here this is 34 m strong. Then there are 10 base pairs in one complete turn of DNA and one chain can have any sequence of bases but the other chain has to be complementary. Here this you can see that this one chain, this one strand have ATGC in coding according to the genes and proteins which have to be synthesized but the other one is complementary. A is complementary to T and C is complementary to G. And uh, the nucleotide have phosphodiester bond between them. So this is what is all about the Watson and Crick model of DNA. The bond between the two nucleotide here, this is a phosphodiester bond. This is the last point, what is understood. So I hope this topic is clear to you. Subscribe my channel for more such educational videos. Like and share it with your friends. And I wish you all the best to score better and better marks. Thank you for watching my channel.